This video shows you how to set up the ClickSense environment to enable Click and Printing connections, export ClickSense certificates, install ClickSense certificates, and set up the Click and Printing environment. Before you start setting up your environment, please check that your system meets the requirements to connect Click and Printing and ClickSense. On the machine where ClickSense is installed, open the QMC and assign Root Admin Authorization to the Windows user that runs the Click and Printing Engine service. In this case, we have already assigned Root Admin Authorization to the user. This Windows user must also be a domain user. You must open inbound ports 4242 and 4343 where the ClickSense repository service and ClickSense proxy service are installed. You must also open inbound port 4747 where the ClickSense engine service is installed. Since we have all the ClickSense services running on the same machine, we will open all of these ports on this machine. To enable distribution of Click and Printing reports to ClickSense, you have to install ClickSense certificates on Click and Printing. First, you have to export the certificates from ClickSense. Enter the name of the machine where Click and Printing is installed. Now we are going to launch a remote desktop session and open the virtual machine where Click and Printing is installed. Enter the fully qualified machine name in the machine name field. Select the Include Secret Key checkbox option, then click Export Certificates. Navigate to the folder where the certificates are located. Copy the folder and paste it in the computer where the Click and Printing Scheduler is installed. You can see the three certificates that have been exported. Navigate to the Program Files folder. In the End Printing Server folder, open the QMC Certificates Installer script. You must be the Windows Domain user that runs the End Printing Windows services. You can also install the three certificates manually. If the Click End Printing Scheduler computer is also a Click End Printing Engine computer, the Windows Domain user must also be running the Windows Click and Printing Engine service. Open the Internet Properties. Go to the Security tab. Open Local Internet and click Site. Now you must change the Internet Security settings. You can find this information in Computer Properties. You must include HTTPS colon double backslash and then the full name of the machine where ClickSense Server is running. Click Add. To complete your setup, go to your Windows Firewall settings and create outbound rules to open ports 4242, 4343, and 4747. Click and Printing is now configured to distribute reports to ClickSense. You can create a new connection in Click and Printing and publish reports to the ClickSense Hub. To learn how to publish reports to the ClickSense Hub, have a look at this video. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.